why do we need to do this? Well, I don't think there is an excuse for that. Is it almost like throwing money away? It is. As the old saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, in New Mexico, pictures of our elected and appointed officials are worth thousands of dollars. For example, meet the New Mexico Court of Appeals. Their portraits are literally worth their weight in gold, $2,300. That's enough to buy two season tickets to Lobo basketball. And the Court of Appeals isn't alone. There are the $3,000 photos of Bernalillo County's District Court, $700 from Metro Court, even an $1,800 portrait of the Supreme Court. Since 2009, taxpayers shelled out $34,000 on professional photography of high-ranking state officials. Remember, any expenditure of public money must be for the public benefit. That's the law. In January, the Public Regulation Commission charged taxpayers $750 for this one photo of Commissioner Karen Montoya. Vincent Martinez is the chief of staff for the PRC. So in your opinion, $750 for a photograph is not too much to pay? Uh, well, no, I don't. But it's not just one picture. The PRC hit up taxpayers another $750 for this one. In the last three years, the PRC billed taxpayers more than $3,600 for professional portraits of its commissioners. I believe that having a professional photo uh, certainly uh, adds to the professionalism of the organization. But in the age of camera phones and so-called selfies, taking headshots couldn't be easier. Or cheaper for that matter, cost of printing this photo of me, just $3. The New Mexico Gaming Control Board spent almost $1,500 in the last four years for six professional photos. Frank Baca is the executive director. It's simply a matter of letting the public know who is appointed to these positions. But what happens when a board member leaves office? Mark Prelo was appointed to gaming control in 2009. He left three years later, and his $250 taxpayer-paid photo, it's missing. The actual physical photograph, uh, in some instances, has remained on site, and in a few instances, it may have gone with the, the individuals they left the office. Vicki Harrison is the executive director of government watchdog group Common Cause. She says that's money down the drain. We're paying for that over and over, whether it's with judges or the PRC or any of these elected positions. There is a chance that they're only there for a few years, and then we have to do it all over again. Now, taxpayer-paid photos are supposed to be for the public, but what happened to the $250 professional portrait of state engineer Scott Verhines? Well, you'd think you'd need a security clearance just to see it. I was just seeing if uh, you guys had a photo of your state engineer. Okay, and what were you needing it for? We were told we needed special permission to view the state engineer's photo. It hangs in a private hallway, seen only by staffers and escorted guests. And then there are the pictures of the retiree health care authority board members. Are those printed anywhere or mm -hmm. framed? No. They're just on the website? Yeah. 11 photographs for $600 solely posted on its website. And get this, in 2010, the administrative office of district attorneys spent a whopping $3,400 just on professional photos of employees. But don't look for them anywhere around the office. The pictures can only be viewed on an internal password-protected website. Yeah, I'm not really sure of all the rationale uh, or why the previous director uh, made the decision that was made to, to get these uh, photographs professionally done. Henry Valdez took over last year. He says paying for pricey pictures won't happen under his watch. Henry's portrait, it was taken on a camera phone for free. In your opinion, the state spending taxpayer dollars on professional photography, what is the public benefit? Well, I think the challenge is there really isn't a public benefit. The broader problem here is that we don't know what else this is happening with. Is this just photographs or is it furniture or is it cars, uh, office supplies, you name it. And when you put them together, this could really add up. And what about the highest profile portrait in all the land of enchantment? The governor's photograph hangs in state buildings from Chama to Las Cruces, a tradition going back decades. A professional photographer donated Governor Susana Martinez's picture. It didn't cost taxpayers a dime. She says the practice of billing the public for professional photographs 
is just plain wrong. And I bet if you went out and looked for someone to do it free, you can find someone to do it free, and we did. The Gaming Control Board gets it and says it will rethink its practice of paying professional photographers to shoot snapshots of board members. But don't expect the Court of Appeals to change the way it does things. The court takes a new photo worth thousands of dollars every two years. And as for the PRC, this is their message to the taxpayer. Thank you for your concern. We, we appreciate it. We do everything we can uh, to spend our money wisely. But nevertheless, we, we still feel it's a responsible business practice. Katie Kim, KRQE News 13.